Is this a real life disappearance or just another submerged mystery? Let's take the plunge and find out. It is the Great Blue Hole, a perfectly circular sinkhole, a portal to an underwater world, both breathtaking and terrifying. The Blue Hole in Belize is an iconic spot, drawing divers from across the world, but its beauty hides its dangers, treacherous depths and unpredictable currents. But beneath the surface, the Blue Hole plunges over 400 feet into an abyss of mystery. Here, stalactites stand like sentinels of a forgotten age and the water grows colder, darker. This is a place of immense beauty, but also one of hidden dangers where the pressure is crushing and the sunlight fades to an eerie, perpetual twilight. It is here in the summer of 1997 that a team of experienced divers disappeared. The team was led by the renowned underwater explorer, Nathan Munro. Nathan Munro, a man of steely nerves and an insatiable thirst for discovery, stood at the helm of the expedition. His weathered face, etched with the stories of countless underwater adventures, held a look of focused determination. He knew the risks involved in venturing deeper into the Blue Hole than anyone had before, but for him the possibility of uncovering its secrets outweighed the dangers. The team under Monroe's command was a collection of individuals as diverse as their areas of expertise. There was Dr. Anya Sharma, a marine biologist with an encyclopedic knowledge of deep sea creatures. Alongside her was Mark Jenkins, a master navigator and cartographer, responsible for mapping their perilous journey into the heart of the Blue Hole. And then there was Carlos Cal Rodriguez, a seasoned diver and underwater photographer, tasked with capturing the beauty and grandeur of this unexplored realm. After months of preparation, the day dawned. The air crackled with anticipation. The divers meticulously checked their equipment, their movements precise and practiced. Each piece, from the oxygen tanks to the underwater communication systems, was vital for their survival. Nathan Munro, his voice calm but firm, addressed his team. He outlined the dive plan, his words carefully chosen, leaving no room for misinterpretation. Their descent would be slow and controlled, pausing at predetermined depths to acclimatize to the increasing pressure. One by one, they slipped over the edge of the boat, disappearing into the azure depths. The descent began smoothly. The sunlight above faded gradually, replaced by an eerie bluish-green glow as they plunged deeper into the Blue Hole's abyss. Around them, the water was surprisingly clear, offering glimpses of the cavern's majestic scale. Giant stalactites, formed over millennia by dripping limestone, loomed out of the darkness like ancient pillars holding up the ceiling of a submerged cathedral. As they descended further, the water temperature dropped noticeably. The pressure increased steadily, a constant reminder of the immense weight of the water above them. Still, the team pressed on, their movements measured and deliberate. They moved carefully, mindful of the delicate ecosystem around them. Their communication, through a combination of hand signals and short bursts from their underwater radios remained clear. They were ahead of schedule, their movements efficient, their spirits high. Then, without warning, static crackled through their radios. Mark Jenkins, who had been charting their position on a waterproof tablet, looked up, a puzzled frown on his face. He tapped his earpiece, attempting to re-establish contact, but only silence met his efforts. Back on the surface, the hours crawled by with agonizing slowness. The support crew, alerted to the situation, scanned the water anxiously. The sun began its descent, painting the sky in hues of orange and purple, a stark contrast to the growing darkness in the hearts of those waiting above. The divers had vanished without a trace. A full-scale search and rescue operation was launched, but the depths of the Blue Hole seemed determined to keep their secrets. Theories spread like wildfire. Could it be an unknown sea creature that lured the divers to their doom? Perhaps a hidden cave system that trapped them? Or even more tantalizing, a lost submarine or treasure? The mystery grew into legend. Could this be the true story of missing divers in the Blue Hole? Or just another deep sea legend crafted by the unknown? What's your take? This story is false. The tale of Nathan Munro and his team is pure fiction. Thanks for diving into the unknown with us. Don't forget to comment for more of the ocean's mysteries. Stay curious and keep exploring the secrets of the deep blue sea.